my name's Chris, I'm English and I'm 56 years young. Um, I've always led a fairly active life and I've participated in a lot of sports. Um, in fairly recent years I've uh, concentrated on walking and trekking and in 1996 I started taking people on guided walking tours around the Greek island which I made my home. Um, about three years ago um, I became aware that several people were saying to me after we'd finished a walk of anything between 6 to 15 kilometres. They asked me the question, Chris, why are you limping? I, was not, I wasn't aware that I was limping. I was aware, I suppose, that I had uh, what I thought was a mild groin strain. Um, to cut a long story short, over the next few months, um, my condition deteriorated slightly and I was experiencing pain in my thigh and then in my knee. Um, until such time as I decided I would have to get a, uh, an x-ray done and this revealed, the x-ray revealed that I had uh, osteoarthritis of my right hip. Um, I started to investigate what I could do about this um, and uh, my condition became such that I was finding it very difficult to walk without discomfort and in fact I could, couldn't walk eventually, I couldn't walk any further than maybe 500 metres without feeling some discomfort and some level of pain. And the only way I could get a good night's sleep was by taking painkillers at night. Um, so I started to read about the advantages of having hip resurfacing, uh, which as far as I understand it was the modern alternative to somebody of my age who wanted to remain active and, and enjoy an active lifestyle. Fortunately for me, I had a few friends who had uh, been to Chennai to have knee replacement surgery with Dr. Venkatachalam, and I, I therefore decided that I would also ask his advice and opinion. So I contacted uh, Dr. Venkat and uh, asked him about an operation for hip resurfacing. He answered all of my questions very, very promptly, made the whole process of organizing my trip out very easy um, and to cut a long long story short I, I had my operation on the 14th of November 2008 and I'm sitting here now on the 2nd of December 2008 having had the operation and I can honestly say that I'm virtually free of any of the pain that I used to experience I'm walking already um, more, more or less normally um, I had never been hospitalised nor had an operation in my life and I was therefore quite a nervous patient but I, I would like to say that Dr Venkat and his team put me completely at ease. Um, they provided uh, for me uh, an exceptional um, quality of care and attention to me whilst I was in hospital. The actual operation itself, um, the anaesthetist um, uh, put me very much at ease. They, uh, I was offered the alternative of having an epidural anaesthetic which meant that I would be conscious during the operation or a general anaesthetic. The advantages of the epidural which allowed me to remain conscious were explained to me and I opted for this particular form of anaesthesia. And I must admit that uh, during the operation I remember the uh, anaesthetist talking to me and I believe at one point during the operation I actually um, had a small conversation with Dr. Venkat, although I don't really remember too much about that. Um, the recovery period after the operation, uh, back in my room, I was completely and utterly free of any pain. Um, I, I don't remember uh, any discomfort whatsoever. Um, and in fact, the, the, uh, the day after, within 24 hours of the operation, I was visited by the physiotherapist, as I was every day during my stay in hospital, and uh, he got me up and onto my feet, and to my utter amazement, I was uh, walking down the corridor um, of the day after my operation, and two days after my operation, I was actually climbing stairs, and uh, every day, uh, every day after that, I was doing more of the same, walking around a bit further every day, doing more and more stair work. Um, completely unaided, I didn't have a stick, I didn't have a crutch from the first time 
I was walking under my own steam with nothing, nothing, no support particularly. Um, and now I'm just concentrating on more of the same and uh, walking along quite happily now and climbing upstairs very happily. I chose to come to India for my uh, hip resurfacing operation. First of all, as I've mentioned, because I have friends that have been um, and had very successful knee replacement surgery with Dr. Ben Kat, but also because having considered all the options open to me, living out, being a British national, but living outside of the United Kingdom, I could have gone back and um, taken my chances with the National Health Service. Um, it would have taken me quite a long time um, and several trips, no doubt, backwards and forwards to the UK. Um, and I decided on balance that um, from the point of view, not, not only of cost, um, the operation was very affordable, um, not only on cost, but also the fact that the, I could come here and obtain the operation that I needed. Um, I could get the operation done when I wanted. Um, and to give anybody an idea, when I arrived, I was met at the airport, at Chennai Airport. I was taken straight to the hospital for the um, pre-operative um, investigations. Um, I then had a couple of days um, free, um, and then I was straight into hospital and from the time of arrival in India, um, after four days, my operation was done, completed, and I was on the road to recovery. I'm in my recovery period. Um, I'm staying at a resort uh, about one hour, 15 minutes outside of Chennai, called Mamalapuram, which is a great place to recover. Um, and I feel uh, as though I'm really on the road to recovery now. Um, almost three weeks after the operation, uh, and I can fully believe now that in another three weeks or so I should be walking virtually as I used to be before I developed this problem.